And pot deuce of absolute fart online. And go. Fire in the hole! Yeah, I think that sums this game up quite nicely. <laughs> well, I made a new account to uh, show the very limited customization off. Horrible Probably the only good just, thing. In let this me game. just say that now. Garbage game. Just, you just want, You want to let it all out now? The game is awful. I think it is the worst game of 2012. It's I. I haven't seen anything worse than this. It's free to play. It's god awful. Like, there's three lines in there. From what I've heard from our last video on it, there's only three lines. <clears throat> and they're terrible. Options, awful. Sound, awful. Annoying. Game is fucking. Just stay away. Just don't even look at it. Alright? Just stay away, everybody. Stay away from this garbage ass game. <sighs> Alright, I could rip it apart more, but I'd have to be playing it in order to do that. Yeah, he's basing all this on the video that I posted. Yeah, yeah. And which is good enough, because the video itself rips itself apart. I mean it. Let me rephrase. The game rips itself apart. And you'll see that in our video. There we go. I just want to show this off, too. In the game. One second. This is funny. What? Oh, I can make my character cross-eyed. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a glitch, but yeah. Gotta love it. Hey, hey, wait, no. Let's not make fun of that. There might be people who are really cross-eyed out there. You think That's they included that for them? <laughs> well, in that case, kudos to you guys, because no game does that. Not like that. I think we should do that. I think we should give them kudos for doing that. I will. Good job, guys. But judging from what I've seen on everything else, I'm honestly thinking we're giving them way. I too revoke much that kudos. Yeah, we're giving them way too much damn credit. They don't deserve that bullshit kudos. Right, take it back, then. I can honestly say though, at the end of the day, still better than Call of Duty. Uh, Come um, on. Well, which one? I mean, Activision Call of Duties. I'm gonna have to decline you on that one. Infinity War Call of Duties after Call of Duty 2? Yeah, uh, after Call of Duty 4. Alright, I'll give it after Call of Duty 4. The Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, okay. I'll say it's still better than the, those two. I didn't think you were going to take it that serious. No, I, I'm going to take it serious. Look, it has a tutorial when you start up. That's pretty good, right? Oh, oh a tutorial on how to suck ass on a suck ass game. There we go. Damn, son. I wasn't being completely serious, but seriously, Call of Duty, it's a bad game. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Which boggles my mind as to why any developer would want to imitate them besides gaining loads and loads of money. If you actually think that's a good game, okay, imitate them. I'm going to turn this into realistic art style because my other one wasn't. <coughs> the thing with Call of Duty is... Well, it is, while it is a terrible game, or franchise, I should say, it, it is a good game side. It, they, they do oh, their mechanic fuck's well. Sake. Like, Let's not compliment Call of Duty, alright, no, in this video. No, no. Instead, how about I say why this game is in common with Call of Duty? Because right. yeah, right, people will right. probably say, uh, Call of Duty didn't invent the first person shooter genre. Okay, I'm well, not saying it copied it based on that. I'm saying it's the fast paced gameplay. It's it's just... the challenges. Right there. Really? It's the guns. I mean, we're gonna have these unique looking characters that wear like a bunny on their head. Why <laughs> why keep their realistic looking guns? Give me a laser rifle or something, you know? There's no reason for that. Or put a chainsaw on the bottom of it. The characters could look post-apocalyptic. They could look vicious. They look like they could spray paint a happy face on their gun or something. My girl's looking fine, by the way. Where are you going with this? I'm just saying the guns. They're trying to make it a realistic game. And they're trying to put boobs on top of that to reel people in. 
it, it's like they're just saying fuck you to themselves. Like their boss pissed them all off, and so they're just trying to make a terrible game. That's 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 really what I'm getting from it. Honestly, now that I think about it, do you think any developer would really take this game seriously and be proud of what they did? Do you think they're actually saying, yeah, we have a great game and uh, we have lots of we have lots to offer for you guys? No, no, our boss totally didn't piss us off, and that's why we're making a completely shit game. Absolutely not. We're really proud of our hard work. What if it was a first attempt, though? Um, let me give an example. Fucking, hold on. Fuck. Well, oh! Hawken, I believe. If that's her, no. The developers on that game were. Oh, no. Things. First attempt, that would be when you're first learning to design something and you've given your project, design me a game when you're in university learning how to design games. Okay? They had to have gone to college, at least, community college. They I'm gonna still zoom into this. Kind of just Shit. First attempt is not an excuse when you're just out in the real world. All right, that doesn't give you shit to say. You can't say that's a first. I'm just attempt. gonna show off the butt because people came to this video and the gameplay they're gonna see if they didn't watch previous gameplay are gonna be very disappointed. So I'm just gonna give you the butt. There you go. There's some good stuff in this video. You have to admit, you'd love it. You'd be crazy not to. You wanna know what would make it better is if they just drew. A character in there with a huge ass. Just a huge, ginormous ass that took up like half the screen. That's all it should be. That's what the character should be. I see Mickey. Seriously, they should just make everything just complete bullshit. Just they could improve the game tenfold just by making ridiculous character models. I thought that's what they went for, right? No. When I say ridiculous character models, I'd actually play that game if I could play Bar President Barack Obama in a Amer an American flag bikini. Also, the majority of the clothing is camouflaged. And I think this was made by an Asian company. The characters look very Asian-styled. And I think they thought they could win over Americans, the Call of Duty crowd, with the camo clothing and the realistic guns. <laughs> Try to win over a different crowd. The Call of Duty kids are going to stick with that series. Totally. Play. totally. Hey, Almentos. Yep. I'll give you one guess. I know you're in the bathroom. <laughs> you're too pretty. How do you know? Alright, here's a vehicle game type. Let's try this one out. Really? There's vehicles? Yeah. How's the vehicle gameplay? Does it make up in vehicle gameplay? I will tell you when I get in. Bunny girl. Yeah, you're a girl. You're a girl. This goes back to my previous video. If you put girl on your gamer tag, odds are you're an attention whore. Or you're a guy trying to get something from other guys. I hear about people doing that all the time on MMOs. Oh, Make yeah. Make a girl character, they'll give you free stuff. That's how sad guys are. Desperate. Same thing with girls. They make a girl character and get free stuff. Or it's just because they're a girl. Yeah, they have to have a girl character. Girl char girl with a guy character? Even if they're talking, they're not going to get free stuff. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Okay, I see the vehicle. So in the vehicle game type, they don't just spawn you in the vehicle. Hmm. What do I have to do? So that leaves you open to be camped. Right? I guess it does. It seems ah! but Okay, now I'm getting shot up. Get up! Oh shit! Did you get a kill? Yeah. Is this free for all? Was it satisfying? A little bit. Now I can't shoot anymore. Why can't I shoot anymore? Shoot the fucking rockets again. There you go! Just don't tell me you're actually enjoying it yourself. It just hit me this moment, this second, that I got bored of it. Yeah, kill. I got bored of the game type already. <laughs>
Maybe it's a short attention span, but uh, why is my teammate down there not getting in a vehicle? Check your fuck it! So does the game make up or vehicle gameplay? Oh god, no. But you sound like you're enjoying yourself. I'm gonna see if I can blow up their helicopter before they can get in. And that would completely ruin this game type. Nope. Well that's good. So the vehicle can't blow up until the enemy gets into it, and there's some invincibility. So they thought a little bit ahead. That's good. That's good. That sounds kind of dumb, actually. No, it prevents spawn killing. No, it doesn't. It just prevents vehicle killing. And there's rockets on the ground, so that's going to help the people out. RPGs. It's easy to fly the helicopters. That's a plus. Not like Ravage. I believe it's Ravage. Uh. Yeah, fuck that. That thing's impossible. <laughs> Battlefield, I can't fly the jets. Really? Yep. Oh, the air in three seconds. Uh. I don't last very long. Unless you have shaft pods. People are going to shoot you immediately. Yeah. That's one reason I don't like Battlefield. To get it, the best it, stuff, you have to play it a lot. I miss the old Battlefield system. I like the Battlefield Bad Company system, where you just purchase through levels. You can choose whatever you want. You don't have. You don't do a like a linear upgrading path. You get to choose what you want with the points you get per level. Battle for Bad Company was amazing. I love that way of doing it. Battle for Bad Company 2 is just the same. Oh, wait, no, it's not. <clears throat> yeah, Bad Company 1 was cool. Bad Company 2... Kind of bullshit. Oh, oh. Whoa! Oh, oh, well. Let's get back on that game. I just realized another thing that I can compare it to Call of Duty. You die really hey. fast. That's hardcore. Uh. Oh, there was a little uh, assassination animation. That look a little rhyme there. Reloading! Assassination animation. So it's ripping off Halo now, right? Is Halo the first, the first thing to do that? Halo, Halo. Oh, uh, Reach. And I guess they probably is. are. I mean, Assassin's Creed, but I mean, I'm not saying it's bad to do assassination animations. They're cool. Gears of War does it. Well, yeah, before Call of Duty, it would actually take some time to kill someone. They would have time to react. They could turn around and defend themselves. But ever since Call of Duty, there's been a bunch of games where if someone sees you, you're dead. Planet Side 2. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Which really just doesn't fit that game. No, dude, honestly. You have armor and shields and you die so quickly. From what I've seen, yeah, it's dumb. You actually badmouth Planet Side. Imagine that. Yeah, I did. Because I like things to be, you know... Sniper! Accurate to the genre. I can understand World War II. I can understand uh, those kind of games, but... Planet Side? You kidding me? Uh, yeah. I mean, I also understand that the weapons are supposed to be strong, but then... What's the point in having these badass futuristic weapons if... You have badass super shields and amazing armor, and that doesn't do shit. I don't like that you can run for 50 minutes in that game without seeing an enemy. And then as soon as they see you, you're dead. Oh, gotta run another 50 minutes again. Sniper! Right. <laughs> okay, suddenly I hate this game type. I went from liking it to not caring about it to hating it. They're not even giving us a chance Sniper! to get our helicopters now. Fuck this game type. The graphics in that game aren't even that great. No. It's... It, hell, Team Fortress 2 doesn't have fantastic graphics, but they do it in a way that's cartoony and so it fits. That game, it's just like... It, it wasn't even rendered properly. It was just... They didn't even bother with it. It's, it's as if it just came straight out of the alpha. Pretty atrocious. They didn't even bother updating anything or improving their system or anything. It was ugh. They were so lazy. Like I said, they're pissed off at their boss. Like I said.
That fucking sound! What? You're at five. Act like it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> they have a few different game types. Arsenal team deathmatch zombie, vehicle bomb. Knowing this game, though, they're probably all imitating something else from other games. I know you can't be completely original anymore. Everything's been done. Well, yes. But to be so obvious about it, try to cover it up a little more. And what a generic game title. Or game type title. I guess the game title, too. Absolute Force Online. Yeah, why online part? Why must you have the online part? That's like slightly above Warfighter. That would mean it would be an MMO. If it says online, it has to be an MMO. It's like they're trying to go MMO by just simply putting online in the title. Think about it, they're trying to copy everything. Even if it's, even if it's minor as that. You know, I realize that we can steer people away from this game, and that means these people, it's their job. They made this game. They won't be getting money if we steer people away from it. I realize that. But you guys should earn it, you know? Make a good game. That's kind of the point of what we're supposed to do. I know, but this is their job. They're not going to get paid for it. Don't you have a conscience? It's, it's these people could end up homeless because of this game. Good. Fucking make a better game. Don't half-ass anything. Think about those who, like Amnesia, alright? They hardly had any m budget. And they made a fantastic game. Simple, pretty long, everything about it. Torchlight. Well, they had a, a bit of budget. There's a game type in Call of Duty where you only have one life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Search and destroy. I think this might be that. Really? Yeah, this bomb game type. Oh. It's a bomb, and you go plant it somewhere? I think so, yeah. B for bomb. Is the, Oh, is my the, dear. Is the bomb in a suitcase? Um, I'll let you know when I say it. Well, please tell me it's in a fucking suitcase. Or it's a laptop. I sure as hell hope it is. These graphics are ugly, but I don't expect... You know, epic or Naughty Dog level graphics from them. I'm not saying that. Hell, I'd settle for amnesia graphics. Something it's intentional. Like that, right? They're doing it. It's like they're just not even going to. I heard that's why they don't let you look at enemies in amnesia because they're really ugly, huh. like badly. Yeah, they do. Nope. They let you look at enemies all the time. I got shot in the back. Why am I falling down? Okay. What are you talking about? My character fell on the back. Hey. It's like she turned around and I didn't. I want to know what you're talking about when they say they don't let you look at enemies in Amnesia. That's what I heard. When you look at them, you get damaged, so you have to look away. No, you don't really get damaged. You just lose sanity. It's a monster, and that's not normal. And you're seeing a monster, oh, your sanity's going to go down. Okay, so you, they don't want you to look at them, right? Oh, of course not. <clears throat> Alright. But the monsters themselves are still pretty well designed. I like the look of them. Okay. I, I you know, cheat. I'm only them saying first. what I heard, alright? Jesus Christ. And then I, I bring my sanity all the way up and I stare at the monster, let him hit me because I have infinite health, and then he's great design. What are you talking about? Just repeat what I heard, that's all. I saw amnesia ever again. Fuck that game. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I bought it. Calm down. Okay, good. I gave them money. I gave them money, too. I haven't played it yet. I'll get around to it. Me, of all people. I have yeah, high expectations yeah, for that game. I better get scared from it. You still never played it? You played, like, what? Point oh minute of it? I just looked at the menu. Point oh one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, fuck cover. Cover don't mean jack shit in this game. Oh, <sighs> yep. <laughs> that sums this game up perfectly. Sums That's this game up perfectly. Game. Goodbye, shit.
I think everything's fine in this game. Everything is slightly below average. But whoever's idea on this development team, whoever decided to copy other games, like so blatantly, that guy should be fired. <laughs> Probably the lead designer. Try to do something different. Ooh. I don't want to seem racist here, but that's a problem with Asian developers. They're kind of afraid to do different. Which is why all those free-to-play MMOs, the Asian ones, they're all identical. Um, what are you talking about? Fantasy Star Universe is far from identical. That one's a great game. There's some exceptions. Never... There's some. Platinum Games, the Vanquish guys, they tried different. I think it's Platinum Games. I can't wait to have this on two online. Shoot a 51. Learn these things before I talk about them. He's very different. I like his style. I think I've been going on for a while. Is there anything you want to say before I end? I'm in the kitchen right now putting some water and something. Fascinating. Do you want to say anything before I end the video? Um, stay away from that game. Don't go into it. Don't even fucking look at it. As I said at the beginning, um, it's garbage. It's trash. Everything about it is terrible. Stay the fuck away. <laughs> Label the title. Stay away from this game. And that's your advice from a Satan worshipper. Exactly. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, I gotcha. I'd say the same thing. Huh. I would say the same uh. thing. Word for word, right? And I too worship Satan. <laughs> uh.